All right, all right, all right. This is Intuitive Empress coming to you with another read. And today we are doing intuitive messages. All right, intuitive messages for the sign of Taurus. This is for guidance in your life. Spiritual may be work, maybe for your mental health. We'll see what comes up from the divine, okay, when it comes to your life, okay? All right. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and to share this message with others who may benefit from the message. This is a general message. What does that mean? It means that everything may not resonate with you in this message. Some things may, some things may not. If it does not apply, let it fly. All right? And I could be speaking from your past, your present, and your future energies. Okay? Also, um, like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you are already a subscriber, please like and comment on the reading. All right. Have courage. The courage to follow your heart and intuition, Taurus. Tauruses are very, very, very intuitive. You have new love coming. Let me move this deck out of the way. You are on a spiritual journey. You've been on a spiritual journey. Or you're about to go on a spiritual journey. Some things you may need to talk through. With friends, family, relatives. But there's a song of praise coming in your mouth. If you feel like singing, sing. It doesn't matter if... You have the best voice out there. It helps you. You are about to go into new levels. Outdated thinking may be hindering your growth. So be open to new ideas. Okay. Set up healthy boundaries for your own self-care. And it is okay. No is a complete sentence. We know a lot of times stars have a hard time saying no because your wishes are about to be fulfilled. Okay? Set up those boundaries, Taurus, because in the past, because you did not have strong boundaries, you had people who were used and abused you, take advantage of, of you in the areas of career, your time, your energy. Money is coming to you. Money, 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 money. Money. And it could be is within this 12 months or it could have taken 12 months for you to get where you are now, where you're about to have your wishes fulfilled. You're going to have sweet dreams. Okay. Leave the past behind you. Leave the past where it is in the past. Okay? And I have six months, so for some of you it could take six to twelve months. Okay? Or you've been going through for the past six to twelve months. On the bottom of the deck, we have rejection. It says, this rejection is actually divine protection for you. Anything else? You are spiritually gifted, Taurus. Spiritually gifted, and you're going to use those spiritual gifts to help those around you. So keep your 
ears open. Keep your ears open to the divine. Okay? Keep your ears open to the divine and follow what he has to say for you. Know that the battle that you have been fighting for the past 6 to 12 months is already won. You do not even have to fight. Silence is the language of God, okay? So sometimes you're going to have to move in silence. You do not always have to have an answer. No matter how good it looks, if it doesn't feel right, walk away. Because you are on the verge of greatness. There are some things that are hidden. The moon symbolizes things that are hidden. There are things that are hidden that God is about to bring to the light. Taurus. Okay, just wanted to jump out. Look in the mirror. It is time to see how great you are, how spiritually gifted you are, how blessed you are. Let the spirit be a beacon that guides you to peace and navigates you through treacherous times. Okay? Let the spirit guide you. This is a time where the divine is really trying to speak to you, Taurus, for you to go on your spiritual journey, for you to come out on the other end, for you to have new ideas, for you to have the breakthrough that you need. And yes, it said talk it through, but that talk it through means talk it through with the divine. I'm, I'm looking at the message and, and all of the cards that came in. Everything is about your spiritual walk and your spiritual journey. And it says silence is the language of God. So you're going to have to move in silence when it comes to people, places, people. Okay. But when it comes to the divine, you need to talk to him and get that time of silence so that you can get the guidance that you need. Okay. Money did come out. That you were about to get money. So let's go in deeper with that. Okay. What popped out for you? Coins. Bing, 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 bing. To, to me, this looks like <laughs> when you go to the casino and you get the jackpot and the coins. I know they don't do that no more, but back in the day, not that too many years, the coins used to just come sliding out. You're about to get a world when you have money coming in well. You have good investments. You may be good at sales and finance, and you may be getting a raise, and blessings are on your side. Is there anything else for Taurus? Okay, we got two, three, four. All right, so we have crown, overcoming obstacles, power play, wealth. You may be a business owner or a boss taking charge and making progress in your life. This is why you need to move in silence, okay? The moon came out yet again, and it says fleeting funds, unknown source being guided. And you might be moonlighting, you might have odd jobs, night shift, working part time right now. But as we see, because again, I can speak to your past, present, or future. So I feel like this is your past, this is your present, and this is your future where you have fleeting funds. So hold on to your money. Be wise in your investments. Listen, okay? Because again, in the past, you may have had bad investments, some financial challenges um, with your savings. You might be working office job 
doing the night shift or had a job and that was in the past. Okay. It says gold, solid finances, investing, integrity, and deep values. You may work in banking. You may have had a long-term position and satisfying work. Okay. That is in your future solid finances investing right now you're overcoming the obstacles from the bad investments and the fleeting funds that you had in the past you're overcoming that you're about to have a power play as a business owner as a worker and those finances are coming in for you Taurus you might have even had people invested poorly in people and it doesn't mean, oh, giving money, meaning that you trusted the wrong person. On the bottom of the deck, and I believe that this is your present, because that was the card that didn't come out, was uh, was your present energy, the second card, um, for your present energy is manifesting money, reaching your goals, getting financial assistance. So you might be doing hands-on work and getting a job and that flows not may you will be getting a job that flows with it because again let's put this all together because i want you to see it okay so you had the moon with the fleeting funds you had the bad investments like i said could just been in people where they were not willing to assist you then you have in your present the overcoming the obstacles in the present you're manifesting money reaching your goals on the verge of reaching your goals and getting the financial assistance. And then you have that windfall of money and then you have the gold uh, for the solid finances that's coming in your future, your immediate future. Okay, we have the six to 12 month time frame. Okay. All right, so. Let's do some angel numbers before we wrap this up. This was very good, Taurus. Any angel numbers? Oh, something flipped over. We have this, we have this, and we have this. All right, so you have 6666. As your angel number, listen carefully to the messages the angels share with you. Work hard to achieve stability and balance in your life. Your angels are holding you up. Help others and spend time with family. Okay. Then we have three, 